Let us move now to the die design. In die design, we can today in version 14 reduce the number of tryouts and faster die design. We are introducing the ProSIM, which is an integration of AutoForm for faster die design with less tryouts. ProSIM is a subversion of AutoForm, less expensive. It has a tight integration with Simatron and it best fits automotive progressive dies. First stage would be the guided data preparation. It's a semi-automatic guided tool to collect all the relevant parameters and components going out to Proxim for simulation. It's fast and seamless data sharing between Simatron and Autoform. And in Simatron, there is the kinematic animation, as can see here in the movie. So in this dialogue, before sending to Autoform, we can apply the kinematic progress bar, and we see which components are about to go to Proxim before the calculation on the Proxim side. Once exported to Proxim, in Proxim, there is the formability analysis visualization, the carrier simulation, extended material properties tables. You can define forces per each tool and calculate spring back compensation, trim line optimization, and collaborate simulation result back with Simatron. Proxim can detect wrinkling. By running the simulation, we can get the visual failure results. And once we go back to Simatron, we can redesign this area to improve that and prevent problems. Also, Proxim will give us the trim line optimization. You will get the visual contour results, run the optimization, and that contour now you can use back in Simatron to redesign more correctly the trim line, as seen here. Proxim will help us also with the spring back calculation. Once you run the optimization, you send back the result to Simatron, and uh, in Simatron, import that data and optimize using the Springback Deform tool to redesign the tool. Let us see now a complete movie of the integration with Proxim. So this is the validation of the strip design using the Proxim Autoform. Firstly, we will see the known die design capabilities in Simatron. Those stations will be exported to Proxim using, as I mentioned before, the transition uh, tool. Proxim will show us the material behavior. It will show us potential falls in the design and give us the exact station planning as required. That can be later uh, used in the Simatron for optimizing the die design and minimize the tryout and get the right design of the die right at the first time. So, on the Simatron side, we collect all the data required, and on the Proxim, we could see the flow of the simulation of the sheet metal behavior, including the strains and the all the analysis operations required, and see all the problems that might occur. Normally in Simatron, the die design is going from the desired part back to the flat blank. 
However, when exporting that to Proxim, the analysis will be a true analysis from the flat blank to the final part. So at that design stage, we will now prepare the data to be exported or sent to Autoform. This is a semi-automatic tool. Most of the components will be put in the right place automatically by the system and the user can edit and add and check the kinematic simulation to see that this is the correct design we would like to send over to Proxim. In Proxim, all this data is imported and now we can apply forces or modify some behaviors or some parameters and then start the simulation. Result of the simulation will be the real sheet metal behaving, behavior step by step, including the strains and all the behavior uh, as expected in reality. All kind of flaws can be detected, handled, forces can be foreseen, and if any problem appears, redesign can be done, and then data will be transferred back to Simatron, and in Simatron, you can now verify the results and uh, redesign if required for trim lines or spring back or wrinkling the redesign. Here we see the spring back redesign. The data is shown on the screen and the result for Simatron is very clear. The better design, validate your design, correct the strip in a continuous process, save time and save costs. This is the integration between Simatron and Proxim Autoform. To summarize, Proxim is integration with Autoform, a smaller version, less expensive, with tight integration. Best fit for automotive progressive dies, for faster die design with less dryouts. Next, for die casting mostly, we have the fuzzy offset design. It's a robust surface offset feature. Easily create an approximated offset surface of a complex set of surfaces where we can easily create the skin surface in a given offset. Let us see a short movie. Here is a geometry with many surfaces. We specify offset of 10 millimeters, apply, and the result is a fuzzy offset of all this set in one operation, providing the desired result for that stage. Easily to program and good enough for our requirements. Addendum design for mostly for transfer dies. Here you can define and create addendum faces between the blank faces and the binder in a fast and easy way. A predefined list of cross sections can be used in a dialog. It is mostly required for transfer and regular die design. It is applicable for large or medium parts and it will create the shape between multiple presses like shells, tube application, frames, structural components. Let us see a movie explaining that. So here we have the green shape and the blank in blue. Applying that, we get a dialog and immediately we can see the cross sections. The cross sections can be edited 
and then the result is reflecting on the display immediately. And once applying, after a few seconds, all the addendum surface is created automatically. In mold design, there is today easier and faster mold design. I'll go through just a few examples. Hole verification. This is a new tool that identifies the design errors that may lead to leakage in molds before the actual production. Actually, we will analyze all the holes in the mold and whenever the distance between the holes or the hole and any shell surface or uh, skin, if it is smaller than a given value, it will be uh, lit in red and give us the information that here might occur a problem. So you can verify that before proceeding with the design. Hole recognition. This is a new tool allows the mold makers to quickly and easily analyze the holes used in the design, ensuring that all of the holes as they are designed are adhering to the shop floor standards and there is no uh, any hole which is not standard and not recognized by the shop floor practice. General CAD for tooling easier and faster design. There is the new selection tool allowing us to select elements with more flexibility, like using the polygon, pick points that form a polygon that defines the selection area. The brush, it's a circle with a user-defined diameter dragging uh, above the entities, it marks levels behind the defined selection. And the lasso, which is a freehand draw of the area of selection. So this simplifies our life in selection and unselection elements. The volumetric text allows us to simply type a text and it will be put on the surfaces with three major methods. The engraved text, this is a text that is subtracted from the object. The protrusion, it's a text added to the object. And the sunken protrusion, which is what we see here on the right picture, is a rectangle around the text subtracted and the text is protruded on it. This is a nice option because you need not to have additional material, but you can first mill the complete surface and then just mill the sunken geometry. And the Simaton NC capabilities can mill these features easily today with version 14. The parametric mesh design, it's a, the ability to create mesh objects from different types. So you can create mesh obje objects from faces or from facets. As we see here on the screen, the cyan slot area is an inner offset derived from standard faces from a solid object. Better user experience Today you can customize the mouse and the keyboard so users can configure the system to work the way they are used to, like with other software, and it's easier the transition from other software to Simatron. That's it. Version 14 is ready.